the value of the protocol is that an individual moving very quickly on a pathway to serious violence often gives unbelievable pre-incident signs and indicators. They talk, they write, they communicate, and many times as well, there are professionals who have concerns with that individual. The problem is, if the professional only has one concerning contact, they may not realize that there are several other individuals, meaning other professionals from agencies, who've also had concerning contacts. And until all of those dots are connected together, we don't realize that somebody is actually extremely high risk until after the tragedy has occurred. The reason for the protocol is now any one dot, any one single incident that crosses a line allows those agencies to contact each other and say, are you seeing the same thing? And we can paint a clearer picture more rapidly than we've been able to prevent serious violence all across this country as a result. When we do formalized uh, assessment for terrorism, we're looking at high level variables, like somebody attempting to obtain explosives, et cetera, et cetera. But at the school and community level, if people are trained properly, we can pick up on individuals before they ever get to the point of attempting to actually do it because of what they're saying, what they're thinking, what they're writing, what they're communicating to others can already come to our attention and we can do earlier intervention work before anybody ever gets to that line.